This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Harry's. So you wanna buy an Android tablet. Well, whether that tablet's for work and productivity or for gaming, or just for watching goofy Android Authority hosts, Grandma, you're like talking to a brick wall. We, my friend, have got you covered. So we're not just gonna share with you what we think are the best Android tablets, but the best use case for you. Now, right at the top of the list, we gotta talk about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4. Most of us use tablets for watching movies, reading, and playing games. So it makes sense to go for the very best display that you can get. And it's hard to find anything better than the Galaxy Tab S 8.4. The Tab S 8.4 is one of the few tablets with an AMOLED screen and a super crisp quad HD at that. With an excellent 359 PPI being AMOLED, the screen will show deep blacks and vivid colors, perfect for games and movies. Now the portable Tab S 8.4 combines the portability of smaller devices with the screen real estate afforded to larger tablets. Plus the 8.4 incher is fast and feature rich, making it good for just about any task. Now in my mind this is really the best all-around tablet for those who want a smaller form factor and whether it's gaming or media consumption or work you really want to look at this one. Now next up is for all you gamers who will love the Nvidia Shield tablet. Nvidia is known for video cards not Android tablets but this Shield tablet is definitely worth your attention especially if you're into gaming. That's because the Shield tablet is powered by a mighty Tegra K1 processor and comes with Nvidia's Tegra Zone portal that gives you access to dozens of Tegra optimized Android games. The rest of the specs are nothing to sneeze at and build quality and design are top notch. The Shield's stereo front facing speakers are great for gaming, video and music and the stylus that comes in the box will amp up your product Activity. On the downside, however, this device is a bit heavy and the battery life tends towards the lower end of the spectrum. Now thus far, the people I know that have used this tablet have really enjoyed it, but they all really have gaming as their priority. Now next up is my personal favorite, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 10.5. Like the Tab S 8.4, the Tab S 10.5 gives you a beautiful high resolution AMOLED display that is ideal for consuming media. Everything is in a bigger package however, so if a large screen is your priority, the Galaxy Tab S 10.5 is the ideal choice for you from our list of best Android tablets. Despite its generous dimensions however, the Tab S 10.5 is easy to handle, weighing in a little over a pound. The Tab S 10.5 comes with almost everything you may want in a tablet, and Samsung's TouchWiz delivers tons of features on the software side, though you may end up ignoring some of them. And while the Tab S 10.5 is all plastic, it still feels like a premium device. All right, so this is the option for people who want to begin to bridge the gap between mobile and their laptop or desktop. So for example, I go to several meetings a week and I sit around a, a boardroom where there's a number of different laptops, everyone's got it out and it clutters up the space and we really don't need the heft and weight of a laptop. What we need is to be able to do some light typing, uh, use our agenda, our calendar, take notes, etc. And the tablet is perfect for that and far lighter than a laptop. That is the best use case scenario for this tablet. Now next up is this sexy and sleek option that is the Sony Xperia Z3 Tablet Compact. This tablet is as sleek as Android tablets get. This eight inch device impresses through its lightness and very slim profile. At 6.4 millimeters, this is the thinnest tablet you can get currently. But the Z3 Tablet Compact has more than just good looks. On the inside, the fast Snapdragon 801 processor and three gigabytes of RAM ensure that you will be flying through the screens of Sony's minimalist user interface. The LCD screen is not Quad HD, but Sony's unique display technology ensures that you get vivid colors that are similar to what you'd get on an AMOLED screen. Another unique attribute of the Xperia Z3 Tablet Compact is that it is water resistant. So not only is this tablet very well powered and compact, it is the sexiest, sleekest of all the options. So for those of you who are fashion conscious, this may be the choice for you. Now I enjoy shopping about as much as I enjoy explaining Skype to my grandmother. Uh, pardon me. I did it before by accident. Yeah, so that's why I love Harry's.com because they deliver my razors, which I have to buy every month anyway, right to my door. Saves me from buying them at the drugstore and they're better quality anyway. 
Two things I love about Harry's especially. One, the shaving cream smells great and actually minimizes the razor burn. Gentlemen, you know what I'm talking about. We don't love the burn. The second thing is that razor has elegant heft to it. It feels like something my grandfather would have used. Go to harrys.com now and Harry's will give all viewers of the show $5 off the Winter Winston set with the code Android Holiday. That's right, as a special limited time offer for the holiday, Harry's is gifting all new and existing Harry's customers $5 off the Winter Winston set. That's harrys.com and enter the coupon code Android Holiday. Next up is the much anticipated Nexus 9. The brand new Nexus 9 from Google and HTC is an Android fanboy's dream. It runs the purest, most recent version of Android, Lollipop 5.0, and will stay current for at least two years. Now the Nexus 9 is as impressive on the hardware side. You get a 64-bit Tegra processor, a beautiful 1536 x 2048 pixel screen, stereo front speakers disguised under the protective glass, and a very big battery. However, like all Nexus devices, there's no micro SD card slot. The device features a utilitarian yet elegant design with an aluminum frame that gives it the rigidity without adding much heft. All right, the Nexus 9 is on this list because, well, it's a Nexus and it's a well-powered one at that, so it deserves to be on the list. But there's two things that I have to rag on and I don't know why Google did this. One, the battery is known to overheat a little bit. Uh, the Tech Ninja talked about that in his own review. And the second thing is that something that no one seems to be talking about and that it's that it maxes out at 32 gigabytes. Come on, it's the end of 2014. 32 gigabytes should be a minimum. If you're not gonna give us expandable storage, Google, at least give us a 64-bit option. This is a primarily a media consumption device. We need a lot of media space. All right, so last up, let's talk about the best bang for your buck option, and it has still gotta be, bammo, you guessed it, the Nexus 7 2013 edition. Yes, it is a little bit long in the tooth for those of you who want cutting edge technology, but you gotta remember it still has a higher pixel density than some of the tablets we talked about earlier. And though it does have those thick bezels, it is still a gorgeous screen that gets regular updates from Google. You gotta check it out. Look out for that full review right there. Thanks for watching, Edward Army. My name is Jace. I'd love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter. You don't want to forget about my brothers and Android over here, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja Kevin, Lonnie, Chris, Gary, and Ash, all working real hard to deliver the best Android content on the planet. I shall see you next week on Android Q&A.